everyone i am raju and uh, today i'm going to tell you the update happened in the flutter in order to you know connect with the buyer base and like when you are creating like sign up page like create user with email and password to method so like uh, you cannot connect uh, on the you know uh, regular method which was earlier so it has been updated uh, so i in this video i will tell you uh, like uh, uh, after updating what is the new parameter okay so stay tuned okay so like uh, this is a basic page i have created this test, test sign up dot dot page where i have created sign up a stateful class okay in order to create a sign up page and it will connect with the firebase okay so like uh, i'll tell you what have what are the changes happened in this okay okay so first of all i just you know uh, like we'll take you to the uh, flutter page so like so that you will understand the whole concept okay okay see so in the recent update we have okay see fixed on android is who where certain network related firewalls or error code should come through as see if you are working on the flutter or any programming language you need to read the official website no you have to be updated with their web official website like sometimes what happen there making some changes you will be aware about it okay so that you'll, you will not come to any error because you know i have started in the same way and after researching a lot i came to this uh, conclusion okay so see added missing depreciation firebase user class and photo url getter in the recent update 0.18.0 plus 1 okay previous update we had overall firebase auth has been heavily reworked to bring it in line with the federated plugin setup along with it. you can read it okay i'll tell you what uh, are the changes happened the firebase user class has been renamed to user this is you know very important because when i hear, when you will write here firebase user it will get depreciated you can see here okay so depreciated it will be so why it is depreciated because of this it has been changed to the user and the auth result class has been renamed to user credential see here auth result it will show error because in undefined class you can see here undefined class auth result it will not define why it is not defined because it has been changed to user credential and also we have a uh, lot of changes over here okay i'll tell you detail and what have been changes happened in firebase auth okay so earlier we are accessing via user via current user and with the parenthesis and which is now synchronous via the current user only this is getter method and uh, all this you can read it here in the detail i'll tell you what you'll need in order to get the uh, sign up page work okay and one more uh, thing this i want to tell you user update info this is the most important thing and where i you know were confused about a you know minute or you can say hour to get this solution how to solve this because when i am declaring it user update info it is clearly showing the error is your update info and it is not mentioned here that what to do okay so remove the class remove the update user info class when using update profile in favor of named argument okay so i'll tell you uh, how can you sign up with the firebase okay so i'll tell you the changes over here this is the simple uh, i am i have not done anything with the ui part i am just uh, simply written here text sign up and related to this uh, method firebase of uh, i have created one function named sign up since it is future so we have uh, 
macam ni bold whether it will be true or false okay a string you have given email password you can give anything like so if you want to like share uh, what to get the url of the user you will mention here whatever you need from the user side and here i have initialize the firebase auth with the instance so firebase or dot instance and uh, we have this uh, entry point of the firebase authentication okay so firebase auth and this is the name of the class and uh, we have initialize okay so auth result okay so auth result about i have one preview auth result has been changed to user credential then see here yeah auth result has been renamed to user credential keep in mind buddy okay so i will what i do I'll just update it user credential okay see now it will show you error why it is showing the error because it is in future okay so we need to continue away okay see user credential has been changed to like sorry uh, auth result has been changed to what to say uh user credential and uh, file where it is uh, firebase user has been changed to simply that's it guys okay so now uh wait okay okay uh why is i am getting this uh, await because uh since it is going to happen in future we are more taking here here await so we need to use the async code okay okay so now user update info okay the most important part user update info has been removed it has not been changed it has been removed so what you need to do is so instead of this you can write here simply user okay and this for this method you can type here uh, you can change uh, like you can keep any name here but uh, for you know since uh, this is we are uh, using this code in order to you know save the data in the firebase okay so i'll say update user it will be much more convenient okay and after that just remove this user update info because it is no longer in use so what instead of it what you need to write firebase auth dot instance dot current that's it you need to write it understood it or not instead of this of the user update info you can write this whole code user update user you should not uh, declare now because it will not be available on the internet why i am telling you it is not available on the internet because it has been recently updated uh, you can see here when it has been updated 20 of august it has been updated so it will not be on the internet so keep in mind that must declare the user and then any name you can type and for my you know understanding i have given here update user firebase auth dot instance dot current user okay got it okay after that what you need to do is okay instead of this info dot display name see what uh, i have mentioned here update user name uh, i have declared here so whatever you want data from the user you can declare it here no problem that okay so if you do it in this way okay it is also a duplicate photo you are typing for to the okay so you will get this header 
there isn't a setter name display name in the class user try connecting the name to reference an existing setter or declare the setter there isn't a setter name display name in class user okay it is not in the user class so what you need to do is simply you need to mention here update profile and what you need to update display name what is the display name we name what is the use of this thing simple done in the same way we can do here update profile and the photo url it will be ur done and uh, instead of this info we should pass update user okay uh, this is not required because we have already mentioned the article here here update profile okay so simple we have now okay so what are the changes we have done here instead of this uh, from the beginning i'll tell you and uh, one more error you will get while running the app because uh, when you run the app we'll get one more kind of error like uh, no firebase dot initialize app is declared so in order to declare that what can we do is this declare because we have okay one more thing i'll tell you about this away and fire store fire store dot initialize not come here now or uh, you need to import the package first uh, for dot r that is not coming okay just leave this but i'll tell you uh, here what we have done you will get data or uh, just comment it i'll tell you or else in the end i'll tell you about what the changes let's try it again import a code and this code dot dot add store Firebase dot initialize app. That's it. See, uh, when you will declare this Firebase dot initialize app, then only you, your app will be connected with the Firebase. Okay, so keep in mind that you need to declare it here, or else you'll get the error. Okay, so what are the changes we have done here? So here it is fine so instead of this user credential uh, auth result we have this user credential and uh, you can write it any name okay and uh, instead of this firebase user we have simply user uh, instead of this current user with parenthesis we have only current user and uh, user update user uh, instead of this user update info we have this Class. These are updating the equal to Firebase or dot instance dot current user, and these are the data we'll get from the first user in order to display or in order to show to the like customer uh, user or uh, like we will get this data and save it to the Firebase. Okay. So this is some method we have created. Sign up. You can uh, use it uh, 
value required I have simply typed here sign up a text I am not going to use this in this case. if you uh, need any kind of assistance in this simply just or comment it or you can mail me also okay and if you like this video if it is really helpful to you please like subscribe and share this video thank you thank you